Welcome back to SnowRunner on the PlayStation 5 for some more Season 8 Grand Harvest fun and shenanigans with me, Mr. Sealy P. In the interests of trying a few different things uh, as part of the Season 8 Grand Harvest before everything goes mad again on Farming Simulator 22, what I thought we'd do was... Um, There we go. We'll do a hay delivery. Uh, so what I've decided is I'm going to take... I'm going to go with a farming simulator approach. <laughs> I've got a flatbed trailer with ramps. I've got a telehandler and I've got the Kiravets K700 with the bale grab on it. I'm going to try a couple of different ways of doing this. It's an off-road trailer. Uh, I've got the ass off on the front. I'm not sure <laughs> how well this is going to work. Oh, the other thing I was to say was at the end of the last episode when I said about getting the twin wheels for the um, K7M, if we go to our garage, literally, as I finished the episode, I was driving off-road just to open up more of the map. Within five minutes of driving off and ending the end of the episode, I found it. I found the upgrade. So, that's what it looks like. Let's leave the garage so you can see it. So the double's on. The uh, K7M that I spent so long trying to find to get my hands on. With the twin wheels on. That's nice. That is properly nice. So yeah, that's what it looks like with the twins on. Very cool. That's what we we'll do is recover that and retain it. So we go back to here and onto our Azov 64131 tweak. Uh, I said before the details of the mods I'm using are in the description. Put the lights on. I don't know how well we're going to fare. I, it, it could well be that with the K700 on the back it's too top heavy we could end up with the first sort of tilt of the trailer the whole lot could go I really don't know if it does I'll drive them out there independently and just drive the flatbed out there I thought I would try it in one go and see how we get on it was also commented in the last episode why didn't I repair the K7M first um, and then get into it and write it itself it wouldn't allow me to get into the vehicle until I'd done the repair jobs so until I'd done the repair jobs and taken it to the repair centre, it didn't give me access to the vehicle, so I couldn't actually get into it. And because I only had three winch points, for some reason I just could not. I tried all sorts of stuff to winch it, I couldn't get it on its wheels. So um, that's when I went for the, <laughs> the telehandler approach. Like I say, this whole lot could just go over. If it does, I'll lose the lot and we'll have to, um, we'll have to write them and drive them out. But uh, don't know if I'll do the whole journey out. We might do a bit of it. There are some really horrible bits on this journey. I mean, it's, it's, mm, it's doing okay so far. It's, mm, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. There's one bit I know for certain. Not, not I know for certain it's going to roll over, but there's one bit I know already is a potential for rolling. The rest of the journey I'm thinking in my head isn't actually too bad. So we need to get six hay bales to live into the hay bar. That's that's the job. This you know and as I say with everything I do, whether it's on farming simulator, whether it's on here, there are loads of different ways of doing these. This is just say one way. I want to give the K the K seven hundred I went way too close to that it seems to be staying upright. I don't know see. Um, we'll give that rear grab a, a go. My only concern with that is that I've, the, I've then got to load onto a trailer with that. Well, I know I can raise it up and I can probably do it, but I just don't know whether doing it with the telehandler might be a little bit easier. That's why I thought I'd give it a go. Do that, there we go. It's a whole lot now. So you'll be able to see in all its glory when the whole lot tips over. Look at that, it's not. If you were living there, you'd be panicking, wouldn't you? That's bouncing all over the place. I do like the fact you can pack the vehicles on and it puts the wedges in. 
haven't really done much of that when I've done stuff on SnowRunner for up to now. And the weird thing was it was that in my mind straight away I thought, oh, well, if I'm going to take stuff out, I'm thinking I can probably load the bales onto this flatbed as well. There is a little, there is a vehicle out there with a little trailer, but I think if I do all six bales in one go, that kind of makes sense as well. We're going to get a lot of oil spin. Going to low, get a bit more grunt. I'm worried I'm going to run out of fuel before we get there. This is really struggling. Which I guess it would be. I've got a lot of weight over that front axle with the Kiravets where it is. I might be stuck. Okay. Don't tip it over, don't tip it over. Come on. Just let's get a bit of a grab. There we go. Once I've got past this, if we look at the map, because I'm coming across here, this bit here is the bit that worries me, because that's quite bad. Once we're off there, it's road pretty much all the way out to where the hay delivery is, but. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> by rights, that whole lot should have gone over by now. Easily by now. Ah! <laughs> oh! Nope. I knew it. There we go. We're gone. Um, right. That. I'll write these and dry them out. I could load them back up again, but like I say, I, I just that's going to happen repeatedly. It's going to take me a while to drive them all out there. We'll get there. Is that fence there? Probably not. Okay. Like I say, not ideal, but needs must. What, what I might do is just put the telehandle on the back because it's a little bit lower profile. The telehandle has not really got a great off road capability, so it might be a little bit better if I just put that on. I might do that. Uh, let's activate the ramp. Do that. Change truck. So the caterpillar. Yeah, we're we're bogged down with it. Might be alright, but I just think it'd be easier. <laughs> Look at the side of it. <laughs> Where we fell into the mud. Hooray! Such a laugh. This is such a laugh. No. Kiribati's in the way. It's a bit slippery as well. Come on. Come on. Stay up high. Right, if I 
try and get that. No, that's going to go again. It's sliding already on the trailer. Can I get that to stay in position? Come on. Nope, sliding again. I need to get that trailer levelled. Okay, right. Bear with me, I'll get it sorted out. Um, Up a level spot ish, and it shouldn't tilt. No, it's trying to much better. Let's just tilt it the other way now. Isn't it? There, let's try that. better. That's... Let's straighten up a little bit. You know what? That will do. Turn the engine off. Switch. Change the truck. Turn it off. Do that. Pack trucks and trailers. We shall see. I'll just put the ramps back up. Fingers crossed. It may go again if it does, it does, but I can try it. It is just a little bit lower than I should have probably put the forks down. It's certainly not as top heavy as the Kirovex, so. If you see me the other end arrive with this in the back, all went well. If I don't, <laughs> you'll know it turned into a disaster. Whilst that is bouncing, it does seem a bit better. I haven't even got to the hay bit yet. Here, that has off. Oh, I'm actually giving that some beans. Yeah, the Kiribati would have come off here. If I get there with this still on the back, I might just load up the bales with this. I might not even go and get the Kiribati, I don't know. Oh, but I want to give it, I want to give that rear bit, rear attachment a try. If I can go onto the main road, we saw it. Go and get the Kirovets and load it up. Yeah, I might do that. Ooh. Clenched. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and get the Kirovets. 
we are at the jumping off point. I did put the Kiravets back on it. What we're going to do, we are here at Hades. It'll be the first bale we got to collect is right in the road, so I can't actually turn particularly well there. So I think what I'm going to do is do the four bales here with the tally handler, and I might drive the Kiravets over. Those two I could probably do because they've got to be delivered here to the hay barn. I might just go backwards and forwards with the Kiravets to do those two. I haven't quite decided yet, but I might do that. So what we're going to do here is unpack trucks and trailers and change to the kilowatts or I might grab the first one here with this I don't know uh, I suppose the other one, we've got to look at this, because this, this trailer here, this um, little, I mean, that's absolutely mangled. I could use that, but I'd have to repair it all first. Just whether or not I get the right angle on this to pick it up. I haven't tried this, I don't know how this works, in all honesty. It does say it's got, well, it's got metal bands on it. Somebody messaged me and said it's got metal bands on it. And it oh, that's actually not too bad. And it grabs it really well. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll give it a go, I suppose. What we need to do is fork the fast mode for that, and then we're going to go... That comes up and down. And then that does that. That opens it. So I'm not going to go a bit, and then tilt it a bit. So as far as that tilt is OK. Let's go fork it. attach it. Is this going to fall out now? Probably. Okay. It's kind of up. Let's take that off. out a bit closer to the other ones. Then we could look at loading them up. Well, at least I know that works. We've grabbed one anyway. Bail delivery. Sort of. So it's holding the bail. Considering I haven't really grabbed that in the middle at the spawn. That's terrible. What I want to do is get this onto more even ground, I suppose. get the trailer on here as well and then it will be a little bit easier when it he says tell yourself whatever you need to whatever helps you sleep through the night uh, right let's leave that for a second handbrake on do that and I'm going to switch to I'm too far away but if I go to there and then to there. No, it's off. There we go. Pack trucks and trailers. Why have I lost my. I ramped to that engine. So I can swing around wide enough. Get that trailer around. Oh, 
go. Don't tip over. We'll give both options a try. Come to the grass. Now, like I say, I don't even know if the hay bales will um, strap down onto this. I'm assuming I can pack cargo, but it might only do four because uh, it's a four slot trailer. So, potentially. Pack. About to find out, aren't we? Now I know this does work. So in the last the last episode, the one before last, I did try this to see if it would pick a pick a bale up, pick a bale up, and it did. Like I say, it's whether or not I can pack it onto the, this trailer. If I can't. I might have to deliver one at a time or something. So I need to do the same thing with this. Forklift fast mode. And we need that. because I already tried it and I know it works. Just go straight on with the bale maybe? Maybe I should have gone with a narrow bale bale spikes. Let's try that. There we go. Back to find out, I guess. So, will that pack? Change truck as of no or one. Change truck. As of. Do that. Pack cargo. Oh yes! I need to go the other way round, but in all honesty, and it will only do four, but I was going to do four over here and then the other two manually. So that will work. If I put the ramps up then, uh, I need to start the engine. Do that. Start the engine. Do that. Activate ramp. Get that up out of the way. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, if I want to put these on and be absolutely 100% authentic, I could take my telehandler, the way I just picked up the bale, and drive up the back of the, the trailer and then put it on, drop it down, reverse off, if I wanted to. But I know I can do it with that. I know it will pack down. That works absolutely perfectly. So, uh, do that. Do that. Switch over. Back to the cat. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. I might skip ahead actually, because I, I don't really want to be doing the rest of this in the dark. It might have been better with the narrower forks actually, but then saying that, it might not have been as easy to lower it onto a trailer with the narrow forks. I don't know. Maybe it would have. Like I've done something like this before, isn't it?
Who would have believed it possible? I'm doing something and it's actually working. <laughs> Who would have believed such a thing could happen? Not I. Uh, let's raise that up though. There, and we're gone. Tilt that that way. Where we go? <laughs> Where are the other two? Uh, through here, I think. I'll go through. I'll skip for time, and we'll get these other two loaded up. And then I'll I'll probably use the Kiravex to do the uh, the last two. It's not a ditch here, is there? I didn't think to check that. Just so sort of disappearing into into a hole. the road go. Yoo -hoo. Tail sliding and telly handler. This is brilliant fun, loving it. So I bring the trailer onto the field here as well, probably. We're in the other field, all four bales are on the lorry, which is over there somewhere, over there. I've had an idea, what I'm going to do is pick up this bale with the Kiravets, I've got the tally handler just over there on the last bale, and what I might try and do, like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but what I might try and do is um, attach this to the back of the, um, the lorry, tow it behind it. Yeah. 
Do you reckon it will? It's good for trying it. We take that out, and if I can then hook this up with the winch in the back of the lorry, I can take five bales in at one go, then just come back for the little that's sunken for that. Come back for the telehandler and just do that. Have I got a gap in the trees there? Lights on. Work! Switch the eyes off. Will it let me? I think it will, you know. Turn on the engine of the truck, because um, it's on the back of it. Lights off. <laughs> yes. Big brain moment. Again, they don't happen very often. But when they do... I mean, I could have probably gone, there's a whole load of modded trailers, I probably could have gone for an eight-slot trailer or something like that. Like I said at the start, there's the numerous ways of doing stuff like this. Of course there are. There are so many different modded trailers now, I could have gone for all sorts. There were double-decker ones and things like that, but you know what? This will work. It's just whether or not this is going to be too muddy and too rutted for the telly. That is potentially a problem. I have to say, using both was easier than I thought it was going to be. I suppose the only difference being that when you're loading onto the trader itself using the telehandler, you just lower the ports. You haven't got to open and close the grab, but that's a minor, you know opening, closing, grab, or, you know, it's not the really end of the world, is it? But, we can get fine with these types straight away. Another thing as well, when I said in the last episode that I'd come back onto this map to get the, um, the planter and the seeder and the harvester, um, what I hadn't even, what hadn't even dawned on me, because I knew there were multiples here, if you go to the trailer store, you can buy them at the trailer store if you want to buy them. I wasn't particularly don't want to buy them, but I knew I could get hold of them here on the map. So it depends again whether or not if you want to use the trailer store and buy them, because it's easier than having to go um, to go backwards and forwards to just buy them rather than just saves time, I suppose. It's worked. It has worked. I could have gone for, I mean, I was looking and most of the trailers that would hook onto the back were, were, weren't, didn't have ramps. The ones that did have ramps were heavy haul ones and I didn't think I'd be able to strap um, bales onto them as well. So that's why I didn't go for one that went on the fifth wheel. That's why I went for a trailed one as well. But, you know, again, it might have worked, it might not have worked. Option to unload. We are at the hay barn. Surely I don't have to. Oh, do I have to unpack the cargo? I did activate this, didn't I? I'll just pack the cargo again just to make sure nothing goes horribly wrong. Let's do that. And that. that. It is activated because it's up, up in the top. elsewhere hmm how weird 
let's try switch it over to I thought it would be a simple case of just driving over the thing. Yeah, cargo management. Why is it doing it with this but not with the other one? No cargo to unload. What's that then? Um, is it because it's almost fallen out? Could that be why? Do these one at a time, surely. The other lorries in this? I don't understand. It doesn't have to be on a specific trailer, sure. I can do on this as well because I'm driven forward. I can lock the axle or the pivot lock. So if I need to reverse back, I can. Turn the engine for that. Hmm. Oops, still showing zero. This is what you're supposed to pick them up with, but is it possible then it's just not recognised the trailers up at the moment, which means I've got to switch them over onto a different trailer. You've got that can't be right. Oh, so my big brain moments turned into a chimp brain. Right, now it's on the floor, it's still not showing either. Well, they're all here, so turn the engine off. I'm going to switch over to the cat. I'm going to have to bring another trailer over and then load them one at a time onto that trailer. That's craziness, if you ask me, but no one is. But if you were asking me, I would say that's crazy. Actually, not going to do. If I can switch to it, although I don't think it's going to be running, which means I'm going to need to go repair vehicle out to go and fix it. Oh, I'm sinking. Can I switch over to the Chevrolet? I can't. I can't. I can't honestly have to go into this. This heap. <laughs> Absolute heap. If I can get this over there without it dying on me, everything is absolutely mullered on it. Um, if I don't run out of fuel as well, I'll load it, the bale onto this trailer and we'll take that and see if it takes it from this. If it takes it from this, then we know that's what the problem is. Don't run out of fuel. Don't want to go and get something else to come out. Okay, I've lost gears. Popping in 
this neutral the gearbox is done I'm going to have to go and get the Z car and I, my big repair wagon I suppose I should have realised the fact this was sat there that there was a reason why it was sat there come on keep going, we can do this can we get there before we run out of fuel or the gearbox blows up or the engine blows up or something else horrible goes wrong? Come on, come on, you can do it. Yeet. There is a technical term for this vehicle, but I won't say it because I'll get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> it's a something box, let's just say. 10 litres. Come on, we've covered a bit of the distance, to be fair. So we now get all stuck. Come on. 9 litres, don't do it. Come on. One careful owner. Nope. Come on. We'll give it seven litres in a second. Come on. Seven. Nearly there. I wonder if this will hook up to the telehandler. Has got a rear train hitch? I don't know. As long as this doesn't get bogged down the field, we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, stop there. Engine off. Yep, we've just sunk, <laughs> sunk into the field. Oh no. Oh, what if I tow this? I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. see if I can tow it with the telehandler. I don't know. I'll try anything at this point. Uh, is that got a train hitch? No. That trailer's going to be a two slot, isn't it? Is it a two slot? I was going to say it was a two slot, unless this is going to put them on the other way around. Probably. Maybe it's a single. Right. <laughs> Without in the back, we're not going anywhere. Okay, do that. I don't know, but it's just a winch, I don't know. I don't think I've got repair points or anything on here, have I? I can refuel the other one. Put a bit in. No, I did it the wrong way around, didn't I? <laughs> That's better. What a palaver! Probably would have been quicker and easier to bring another vehicle out, but... Let's recover them all. 
Oops, I think I'm way, uh, I've come away from the road, haven't I? I'm going to ruin someone's sunflowers here. Apologies if it's your sunflower field. Come on. We can do this. Um. We're doing this, people. We're doing it. Suspense, thrills, jeopardy. We've got it all. If this doesn't unload now. Um, so what I'm going to end up having to do is take every single bale off one at a time, put it onto the trailer, and then switch the. Say this telehandler. Very impressive. Very impressive. Can I cut down through there? Should I cut this or I get bogged down? I'm trying to save myself a bit of time. Get stuck. This is what we find out. Cargo management. Hang on a minute. They got me on the trailer. <laughs> so, I 
guess you can imagine what I'm going to be doing now. Um, I'll probably... Actually, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? This is where the Kiravets is actually going to come into its own. Because it's going to be easier to do them sideways unless I lower the ramps and do it with the other one. It doesn't matter either way. But you can see where we're going to go with this. It depends whether or not you want to stay to the end, you know. <laughs> I'll probably skip ahead to some of these and then we'll... Um, See you in a minute. Last one. Let's get it done. cargo. Do that, do that. Boom! <laughs> Done! Question is, can I recover this? Oh, this is mine. I can keep the Chevrolet. Nice. There we go. So, hay bale delivery contract mission done. All this equipment and machinery will now go back. Uh, the trailer... Actually, I might repair this and drive it back. Or I can always come back out. Anyway, regardless, I've had some of these before. Um, I might just end up selling it because of other vehicles. But we are done. Now, as I said, I don't know what's going to happen with regards to FS22 at the moment. With mods coming out again at some point. How many more episodes, if any more episodes, I'm going to do here on SnowRunner. I might have a bit of a play like I have done before. Like I said, I wanted to come on, do a few videos um, over the sort of the Christmas period while Giants weren't in work. Um, there's loads more. I mean, there's, there's four maps on here, and I'm, I've barely scratched the surface. We have done some seeding. We have done, we've done some cultivating seeding, harvesting. We've done potato delivery. We've opened up a map. We've got the second tractor. We've done a hay delivery. We've done a whole load of stuff. Um... But like I say, there is still tons more to do. So what I'm going to do is recover this. Oh, of course. Oh, doesn't it look so much better? Fully, fully restored. Savage. Um, do I want to sell it? I don't know. This was was it the Chevrolet that we started with on the very first It was the very first vehicle you got, wasn't it? 
I don't remember the just nostalgia's sake I might do it up a little bit. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Um I hope you've enjoyed it. I like I say I've been loving it. So absolutely great. I'm gonna take this all back, I think, rather than just leave the trailer here. Uh, let's get the light on. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.